Hey everybody, it's I Want To Be Retro. Today we're going to take a look at running Docker Mail Server. To get started, log into the host that's going to be running Docker. First, we'll run sudo apt update to update our software repositories. We'll use apt install to install a few prerequisite packages required to get Docker installed. Then we'll add the Docker GPG key and apt repository. And use apt install to install Docker, Docker Compose, and Containerd. With Docker now installed, we'll set the service to started and enabled, add the current user to the Docker group, then re-authenticate the current user for the group change to take effect. Now we're ready to run the Docker mail container. We'll start by creating a working directory structure to be used by the container, then set ownership of the new working directories. Next, we'll use the docker run command to start the mail server container. And lastly, we'll use another docker run command to create a new user and inbox. We now have our mail server running and a test user created, so we need to set up an email client. I'll be using Thunderbird Portable Edition in this example. After downloading Thunderbird Portable, navigate to the downloads directory and double click the installer. Click through the installer accepting the defaults. When the installation completes, check the box to run Thunderbird and click Finish. Inside Thunderbird, enter your full name and the test email address and password we set up in Docker Mail Server. Then click the Configure Manually option. In the incoming and outgoing server setup, enter the DNS name or IP address of the Docker host running the email server. Then click the Retest button at the bottom of the form. Thunderbird should auto-complete the rest of the settings. Click Done at the bottom of the form, then check the I understand the risk box and click Confirm. Thunderbird is now configured to use our Docker mail server. Let's send a test email to see if everything's working. Navigate to the inbox interface and click the right button at the top left. Enter the same test email in the to box. Then input a subject and some dummy text to include in the email body. When you're ready, click the send button in the top left of the email dialog window. If everything's configured properly, the email should come through to your inbox within a few seconds. 